Welcome back again. This is Fox. As you're probably well aware by now, my um, Max Pop run is finished. It floats between 21 million and 23 million, depending on what Tobias is doing at varying different harbors. It's very, very difficult to get it stable because we're relying on Tobias trading, not at our main Docklands Wharf every time, and he just doesn't do it. So yeah, 21 between 21 and 20 between. 20 million 900,000 and 21.3 it goes all the way up to 21.3 so we have quite big fluctuations as i say depending on where to buy us trades anywho today i want to cover the arctic and how you optimize the arctic for a max pop run it is really straightforward to be honest uh, we're only making three goods from the arctic so it's not going to be a very long film we are making Bear fur, fur from prime hunting cabins, which also give me bear fur as well as a byproduct because of the bait specialist. And uh, we're making gas. Where possible, the gas plateaus are clipped using the gritty gas extractor and the music box. If you're a member of the Discord, you see pinned messages in Anno Picks and Vids. There are layouts to clip all of these gas plateaus so you can get the most gas out of each plateau. You can get six tons of gas per plateau if you clip them correctly. Um, I've managed to squeeze some bear fur and furs up on these plateaus as well because we have one slot left for the bait specialist. They don't make an awful lot of uh, beef up on these plateaus. We're only making six tons on this one. We're making eight tons on this one, but it soon adds up. We're probably making 30 tons of beef, uh, bear furs in total on the Arctic plateaus. Just simply because of this bait specialist provides bear abundance so you can put these bear hunting cabins up on the plateaus so yeah nothing crazy about the plateaus it's really really straightforward as i say clip your gas mines i noticed and oh, this one is clipped yeah i thought this one wasn't clipped but yeah anyway clip your gas mines plop some bear fur hunting cabins up here the plateaus then obviously you just need the amount of workforce needed to uh Supply them. Don't know why we're missing the hot sauce up here. No idea why that was paused. These little things always pop up every now and again. Yep. So, the joining together of bears and furs on the main islands. This is pretty cool because they can share forest density, if you like. They don't get in the way of each other's forest density. They only steal the forest area from other like-minded buildings so yeah you can put a bear fur and then a prime hunting cabin right next to each other and that means you're generating fur and bear fur from the same place plus additional bear fur from the prime hunting cabins because they're affected by the bait specialist as well now these do need beef an awful lot of beef for the arctic region as a whole We need 460 tons of beef. Now this is a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, I'm constantly having slight lulls in delivery of this beef because the storage in the Arctic is just not good. I am delivering it to all to this island, medium two, which has a storage of 1350, and then it's been shipped off everywhere else. Now there are slight dips in production, um, slight delays in the delivery of the beef, especially getting to the plateaus. So globally, bear fur, we're making, if we were flat out, we would be making 30 tons more a minute than what we actually need. But it hovers around 15 to 20 tons less because of the delay in delivering of the beef to the various islands. Also, um, if you don't have a warehouse right close to these, they can stall and it takes a little while for them to get the beef. But yeah, the items I use, I use a couple of three different combinations. Always the bait specialist. Um, and always the cable whack bow you can either use tolco the trapper which is a 40 percent productivity boost or there is another item which is this one the bow of the lnu affects caribou hunting cabin and bear hunting cabin this doesn't give a boost but it decreases the forest density now i've played brown with these quite a lot and i honestly can't see any difference between the two the loss in 40 percent productivity but the gain in forest density, they're virtually identical. So either one of these are, are a good option. Obviously the bow of the LNU or Tolko the Trapper. The only good thing with this is you get goose feathers, but we don't really need those because I'm not giving the technicians or sleep bags or anything, sleeping bags or anything like that. 
So yeah, once you've spammed the whole world with bear hunting cabins and fur cabins, and you've got the beef over here to supply them, and all it is is a matter of building up the population to supply them. Now the beef is being traded for, just as everything else is on this save. We'll show you where it's coming from. It's coming from various islands. This one is coming from medium two, which is in the old world. It's this one. If it would let me click on my ducklands, this beef is being traded for by advanced weapons. These advanced weapons are coming as byproducts from a lot of different production chains you can see we're making 937 advanced weapons a minute these are coming from fans they're coming from film reel they're coming from motor production and they're coming from all over the place and they all get shipped to crown falls and then delivered around the world to trade for everything else that we need so anytime i say it's being traded for you can pretty much guarantee it's being either advanced weapons or steam motors coming from various pro productions around the world you can see these steam motors, um, these motor productions are clipped with two Brunos. So just on this one island, we're making 211 tons of each advanced weapons and steam motors. So yeah, that's how we're getting the beef over here. I think it's being traded for on three separate little islands and then shipped over here. Now the needs for, the needs for explorers. Pemmican. I believe I'm actually making pemmican on this island. Yeah, pemmican is being made for on this island. The caribou is being traded for. The whole Arctic only needs four tons of pemmican a minute. So in reality, I could just buy the pemmican from these. Because these, uh, the neutral traders deliver seven tons a minute of each of these items that you can use. So I could get seven tons a minute pemmican from here. That means I could delete the production of this over here. But seeing as, as I was making 20 tons more beef, 20, to, 20 tons a minute more bear fur than I needed, this pemmican production was set up right at the start of the save. So I just left it. But yeah, you can buy seven tons a minute of that from the Inuit. Seven tons a minute of anything I've got. Um, the oil lamps, these are being traded for, made on here. Just two oil lamp production facilities. They're not even being boosted by anything because just didn't need to. They're in the radius of a, a trade union, but there's other items affecting other production buildings over here. The brass is being traded for on Crown Falls and brought over here, and the whaling stations are here. So, yeah lamps are super easy to make now the bread this is being made on crown falls as is the tallow the bread i am actually making the bread here and these two little bakeries i didn't want to waste a trading slot for like five tons of bread a minute or something it would have been ridiculous so yeah i'm actually making the bread here the grain was already being made somewhere else i can't remember where that's being traded for but yeah so that's that. The hot sauce is being made in... I think it's being made on Manola. If I remember correctly. Comes from a hacienda, doesn't it? Yeah, here's the hot sauce. So the hot sauce is actually being made on Manola. Everything obviously gets shipped over here and then delivered accordingly now explorers uh technicians they haven't reached a population that enables them to have husky sleds yet but they are getting rum mezcal dynamite and motors the rum and the mezcal is coming from the mezcal island in the new world the rum is being made as a byproduct on the mezcal island you can see because of brindley so mezcal and rum being made over here Steam motor, the engine, the motors, sorry, obviously, 
we just looked at the motor island where we were getting the advanced weapons and steam motors as a byproduct and the dynamite is coming as a byproduct from our shampoo production i believe So we're getting dynamite. The dynamite and tallow is coming as byproducts from the re-rendering over here. So everything's everything's pretty much byproducts or stuff that we already had in play to give the explorers what they need in the Arctic. That's it. There is literally nothing else to it. How I deal with transportation of goods to an Arctic plateau is very simple. I have one airship dealing with coal, canned food, pemmican, and lamps. One ship bringing local mail in. Two little ships bringing the mail in, sorry. One ship taking the gas to wherever it needs to go. One ship bringing in gas. This is also bringing in a bit of coal as a buffer. One ship taking the bear furs out. Another one for the gas. Technicians. Must be getting the mezcal from somewhere, but I didn't see that. Ah, yes. This one is bringing in tallow. The rum. The hot sauce, the motors, the mezcal. It's also delivering husky sleds as well. So yeah, um, a few airships, but with these platforms now, they received a boost in loading speed, and the airships got a buff when they're loading up these platforms. So it doesn't really matter. You can deal with it however you want. I didn't even do gas on this last plateau because I didn't need it. So I managed to squeeze a few more tons a minute out of this Palato bear fur managed to get 15 tons out of this rather than eight because i didn't just didn't need the gas that this island could have produced i managed to use it for all the small islands all of the large islands were pre-planned way before with oil because i'm generating all the all of the oil on site from the mines which we're using for various things yeah we're using the coal for aluminium and yeah mainly coal copper we needed a lot of copper as well for cable so yeah that's it for the arctic um they don't get any obviously they don't get any heat items apart from a heater where when they're in range because the bear hunting cabins and that need heaters but yeah that's it absolutely easy peasy straightforward the arctic as a region has just under five thousand technicians and ten thousand explorers so it's only fifteen thousand total pop for the arctic but the amount of population gained from the bear fares overall i can't remember what it is it's quite a lot it's like eight hundred thousand, i believe for my entire save so a worthy sacrifice to sacrifice this whole region just to give the investors what they need anytime you can dedicate a region well anytime you're doing a record run or a max pop run you need to think what best way a region can help the old world in the cake because you generate most pop per tile in there so anytime you can make something that they need in another region and then send it back to the old world or the new world then the old world or the cape is best for me so yeah that's it nice quick video i mean i don't know how long it's been going it's only 12 minutes but there really is a not a lot to the arctic as i say bait specialist uh so we can make beef from our prime hunting cabins uh tolco the trapper cable whack bow spam everywhere with bear hunting cabins and prime hunting cabins clip your arctic glass plateaus um the items if you're wondering to clip your glass to clip the gas is the gritty gas extractor and the music box both of these are bought from nate um there's the music box there's the gritty gas extractor good thing about these is that you get some uh, copper and zinc back from the gas as well so yeah super easy clip your glass plateaus put some bare furs up there as well minimal 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 workforce just have them just ticking over some of these are borderline keep a little buffer of about 10 or so this has got a little bit more yeah this island you can see we're teetering on the line of what we need to just run it without any hassles don't give them any heat things apart from when they get it luckily off a heater that is providing heat to bear hunting cabins or the prime hunting cabins and yeah that's it we've got to worry about really is getting stuff over here and getting the bears out now i transport transport all of the bear fur and the furs to one island in the old world which is medium two that's this one all of the bear furs comes here and then every individual island sends a ship 
or sometimes I do a multiple route like this, a triple route delivering to two islands. If it's a medium island, picking up the bear fan, delivering it over here. I've always got a little bit in buffer. Fluctuates, never goes to zero. Seems to be working quite well. But yeah, that's it. That's how to optimize the Arctic for a max pop run. Well, that's how I did it. There is no better way in my eyes. You, you, you want to utilize the gas if you can. Uh, you need to make the bear furs because it generates way more pop than anything else you can do in the Arctic. So, yep, that's it. Nice and easy. Next one, we'll be taking a look over the new world. It's going to be a bit more in-depth. It'll probably be an hour-long video, that. There's a lot to talk about. But, yeah, thanks for your patience. Hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you check me out on Twitch, Twitch t Twitch whatever it is tv forward slash fox gaming triple two uh, we've already started a new let's play it's an, another max pop run but with a twist this time we're doing full supply so we're doing all needs all happiness needs all lifestyle needs and the, the only thing we'll be we will be using docks docklands for is raw materials so everything is going to be made the traditional way more already having so much fun over there but yeah that's it for now thank you very much and uh, i'll see you in the next one